second video. My name is Ava. I'm the student body president for this year. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Colson. Um, I'm the president of the Mentors Club here on campus. We're super excited to have you all here tonight. Um, we got a great um, time ahead of us here. We're sorry we you can't be here in person, but we're going to make it just as special for you here online. Um, we got some great people to introduce, some great videos to play, and a great night ahead of us. So um, we're going to throw it over to the highlights video, and um, then we'll uh, we'll let that start it off. High school is supposed to be one of the best times of your life. It's about so much more than just four more years of school. It's about the relationships you make. It's about the journey from freshman year to senior year. It's about the community you become a part of. Here at Pinnacle, that journey is full of amazing memories and crazy stories. It's a time of growth, experience and overwhelming connections our teachers show us who we want to be inside the classroom and outside the classroom who we want to be in high school is supposed to be one of the best times of your life it's about so much more than just four more years of school it's about the relationships you make it's about the journey from freshman year to senior year it's about the community you become a part of. Here at Pinnacle, that journey is full of amazing memories and crazy stories. It's a time of growth, experience, and overwhelming connections. Our teachers show us who we want to be inside the classroom and outside the classroom, who we want to be in this world and in our lifetimes. Friendships built on this campus makes us better humans. They make us who we are today and who we will be tomorrow. Our student life is electric. Football games and assemblies are loud. They're emotional. The student body can move mountains. Our championship athletics program makes us proud to be pioneers. Our award-winning arts program makes us laugh, cry, and cheer as they celebrate the diversity on our campus. Our academics create and strengthen the minds that will one day change our world. At Pinnacle, everyone can find something they love. It is what makes us different and unique that connects us all. Pinnacle High School will allow you to reach for your dreams. It will allow you to become exactly who you were meant to be. Our pioneer pride shines through all of us every day. Once a pioneer, always a pioneer. Welcome back. Well, it seems like technology isn't exactly rooting for us tonight. Um, and that's okay. Um, we'll figure it out. We still have a lot of stuff planned besides videos. I'm sure we'll get those figured out. But um, taking the stage first, we have the head honcho over here at Pinnacle, um, Principal Dr. Smith. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I am Dr. Smith, a very proud principal here at Pinnacle High School. And I want to welcome you to our first and hopefully last virtual uh, eighth grade parent night. Um, I was reminded today that uh, last year at eighth grade parent night, it was raining as well. So the virtual aspect of tonight uh, is advantageous for sure. Um, over the next hour or so, you're going to be overwhelmed with information. Um, please don't worry. Uh, everything that we talk about tonight is available online through the eighth grade parent night flyer that was sent home today via email and that is located on our website on the main page. All of the links will have information for you. You can click on them. You'll find exactly what you're looking for and the people that you need to talk to in case you don't get your answers, question, your questions answered. Um, we'll conclude this evening with a short Q&A session uh, to answer any of those additional questions that you might have. We will also be posting a recording of this event on the website in the next few days. That way you can relive this amazing experience over and over again. Uh, from everyone at Pinnacle, I just want to say welcome to the Pioneer Nation. Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, our head counselor, Mr. James Marshall. Woo! 
Hello, future parents and future 2025 graduates of Pinnacle High School. I am James Marshall. I'm the head counselor here at Pinnacle. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you a very short registration video. But once you get on the counseling website, which the link is in the flyer, it's a more in detail video about registration. Welcome class of 2025 to Pinnacle High School. This entire presentation will be available on the Pinnacle Counseling website. So if you miss anything, check us out there. Pinnacle High School is a comprehensive high school. We offer honors and AP classes. We also offer CTE classes, which are career technical education courses that you can get a certificate in. We also have state-of-the-art fine and performing art classes and we also have state recognized athletics. We have a comprehensive counseling staff. If you would like to contact your child specific counselor, please see them listed below. I'd also like to mention Mrs. Mandy Schumacher, who is also our SEL specialist, and also Mrs. Maria Castro, who is our College and Career Center technician. They both provide invaluable information to our department. One of the things that we would like to mention is your child's transition from middle school to high school. At high school, we need for them to have 22 credits to graduate. They earn those credits by being in six classes all school year. Each course that they are enrolled in is worth eight credits. Students will be enrolled in six classes every year, their freshman year, sophomore year, and junior year. A senior, they could possibly be eligible for a half day. You also need to know that the only grade that is reported on their transcript is their semester grade. Progress grades and quarter grades are not reported on their transcript. Every class that they take is recorded and will be sent to their college or university of their choice once they get to that point when they are a graduating senior. I'd like to mention also that the high school graduation requirements that are 22 credits will be posted in certain areas that they need to be required for graduation. For example, students need four credits of English, so they need to make sure to take four years of English. Then you go down to three credits of social studies and they need to have world history, American history, a half a credit of government and economics, and so on and so forth. Please make sure to review so that you have a better understanding of your child's courses that they will be taking for future reference. One of the things that we do recommend here at Pinnacle High School is that students take a world language. World language is a required class if you plan on going to a four-year institution. Example, ASU, U of A, and AU. Those are our big three in state universities. They require two years of a world language. The courses that we offer are Spanish and Mandarin. Please note that Mandarin is taught with a blended online and on-campus course. We also offer a plethora of honors courses. Honors courses are much more rigorous and at a faster pace. It is very important for you to go to the counseling website under the, under the part where it says, why should I take an honors AP course to see if your child qualifies. We like to go ahead and leave this up to their current teacher as they have a better understanding if your child's skills are up to the rigorous course level. Here is a sample schedule for your freshmen. First semester, your child will have English 1, Algebra 1, Life Concepts or PE, Conceptual Physics, Spanish 1, or Ceramics. Second semester will be the similar, except that it will just be all second semester courses. Remember that this is just a sample. Your child's individual teachers will be placing them in other classes should they deem necessary.
When we have registration for incoming freshmen, your middle school will be giving you a packet that you will have access to. If for whatever the reason you lose your packet or need an extra packet, you can also access one under the Pinnacle High School Counseling website under Registration Information tab. The packet will be filled out starting the week of February 1st, so please make sure that you have one handy. Students can only register during the week of February 1st. One of the things that we want to make sure that you understand is that you're going to be selecting two elective courses. That will be your PE courses, Life Concepts, and a PE Choice, along with two alternate courses. Please make sure that whatever alternate courses you and your child select, that it is something that they really do want to be in. Also, the middle school teachers will be recommending and placing your child in four classes. Four classes are consistent of English, math, and science, and potentially their world language class if they have one at the middle school. This particular information is for students that are open enrollment coming to us from other, high, other middle schools. Our records clerk will be scheduling appointments sometime in February to get your student enrolled at Pinnacle High School. Your courses will be selected the same way. They will be enrolled in six courses. They will be required courses, PE, and two electives, plus their two alternate courses. Again, I'd like to reiterate, please select alternative courses that you do want to participate in, as sometimes the courses fill up and will not have available to your first choice. The registration information will be available on the Pinnacle High School Counseling website. Please make sure to click on the registration tab and it will give you an overview of the process, the courses, and the parent registration information. There is also a link to access to the counselor if you need assistance with that also. We want to thank you so much for participating in our eighth grade parent night. We are so excited to have your child come to our school and be the class of 2025. Please remember that this entire presentation is available on the Pinnacle Counseling website. Welcome, Welcome back. back. I know that was a lot of information to handle, but again, if you want to see any of that, it is on the counseling website. And it worked this time. Yes, it did. So before we introduce our next amazing member of the admin team, I want to remind you guys that there is a Google form that you can fill out with any and all questions you have at our question segment at the end of the um, show, I guess. Um, so our next member is the athletic director and dean, Mr. Hurley. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Again, I'm Mr. Hurley, Pinnacle's Athletic Director. Uh, we are very excited to have a new batch of young pioneers next year. Pinnacle has had a long, rich history of success, both on the field and in the classrooms. Um, equally as important, our coaching staffs pride themselves in the character development of each one of their student athletes. Uh, in the orientation flyer that we've mentioned multiple times already, you will, you will see at the bottom right hand corner, there are other links and those links are um, a link to the flyers. There's a flyer for each one of the individual sports at Pinnacle. So you can go through there. There's lots of information. There's, there's some team pictures. Um, there's information about how to get uh, in contact with those coaches. Also below that link, there's a uh, link with all the contact information for the head coaches. So you got two links there with lots of information. So please reach out to them as soon as possible with information about next year's seasons and how to get involved. Also, if you have any questions about registering for uh, a particular sport, go to the, the athletics webpage off of the Pinnacle High School webpage. There you'll find um, other links to register my athlete, which is a form that you have to fill out with physicals, lots of um, different questions and things you have to fill off. Uh, you have to to check off on to be registered for that sport. 
Um, if, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the athletic department, okay? We look forward to seeing you all next year and go Pioneers. Thank you, Mr. Hurley. Um, next up, we are introducing our mentors and student government advisor, Mrs. Sage. English teacher here at Pinnacle High School, but I also have the amazing honor of getting to do the advising for SUGO, for mentors, the student activities that we have on campus, which really, really, really can't be about teachers. It has to be about you guys, it has to be about these guys. So you don't want to hear from me, you want to hear from them. They would all tell you that to make the most of your high school experience, you should get involved. Hi, everyone. So Miss Sage is our honor of SUGO, student government. I'm Colson, you guys already know me. Um, once again, I am the Mentors Club president. And so what Mentors is, is an amazing club. Um, it's, it's, we have about 300 juniors and seniors that are um, leaders and uh, mentors that help the freshmen when you guys come. And we cannot wait to have you guys here and um, we have some big events coming up for when you guys are here. Um, we'll see you all the time. Um, and we're, we're just a great resource and we can't wait to meet you all. Hello everybody, I'm Connor. I'm a junior here at Pinnacle High School. Uh, freshman camp is one of the very first activities that you guys will experience to get involved and really um, begin to understand what the energy level and just the family of student body here at Pinnacle is like. Uh, you'll be able to interact with many upperclassmen. You also get a tour of campus from some of the mentors here. You also get a t-shirt and honestly it's your first chance to see where you'll be spending the next four years of an amazing time and amazing experience at. Our Stugo class has 30 to 70 representatives and we plan things like pep rallies, spirit weeks, and all our dances, all the fun things on campus. And we hope you can get involved with that. So if you're an incoming freshman and you want to join, stay tuned in August and find out how to campaign. Thank you. So what we have up next is the virtual tour of our campus. Our campus is beautiful and amazing and we can't wait to see you here. Yeah. We'll get right into that. Alrighty, welcome to Pinnacle, everybody. These are shots of our amazing campus. It's stunning, of course. Um, what you're seeing right now is um, the A building, the B building, and the D building. So that's our administration building, our ITC, and the cafeteria. As you can see, beautiful day in Arizona. <laughs> We're coming over um, the quad right now. Down there is areas you can eat lunch, and on the left, we have the C buildings, and on the right, we have the F buildings, two of the biggest buildings on campus. Alrighty, and you're seeing the rest of the quad, and as we're flying over, you will see the auditorium on your left in the, gym, at the gymnasium and our athletic department on your right. So as you can see, much bigger campus to probably what you're used to. Um, coming up here, we have the big parking lot just for seniors, and um, we'll move now to the A building. Um, the A building is where our admins, counselors, attendants, nurses office. And right here is where you'll go um, if you're running late. You'll come in through the door on the right and check in with attendants and um, nurses offices in there as well. All right, so now we are on the B building, which is our ITC. The ITC is a big central hub for all students on campus. So here's where you'll check out any library book that you need for your class. And then in the back, we will have um, our finance office. So that's where you'll pay any school and all school fees. And it is insanely beautiful in there. You can study in there, hang out with friends, or print out any work you have. Great place to hang. Up next, we have our C building, um, the big mathematics and science building on campus. Um, it's going to be two stories um, filled with all of your physics, chemistry, biology, um, calculus, algebra, geometry, um, all those maths and sciences. Um, this is an example of one of our math classrooms. Um, our, each classroom is pretty big, lots of desks, lots of people. <laughs> These are our pretty hallways, and this is another example of a classroom. This would be our science classroom. Um, just once again, awesome classrooms, great environments, and yeah. Alrighty, now we are into our D building, which is our fine arts and performing arts. So this is where you'll have any of your classes such as drama, ceramics, any art class at all. So this is our amazing auditorium. This is where we have any and all performances. Our bigger clubs also have meetings held in here. 
It's a great place to hold everybody, and it's beautiful shows that we have in there. Alrighty, so on our left, we will have our choir and band rooms. So anybody interested in that, this is where you will be. Um, we have an amazing choir program and as well as a band program. We are state champs. E-building, it's physical education and athletics building. This is where you'll find our big gymnasium where all the basketball games are held. Our amazing trophies and achievements are put up here. Um, Pinnacle is one for awesome athletic achievements. Um, this is our weight room for those freshmen that are taking weight training. Um, I was one of those and it's a great class. You learn a lot, techniques, great equipment. This is our big gym. Um, this is where you'll have a lot of um, a big events, basketball games. Um, there's our new Jumbotron. It's just, it's a big area. It's where the school meet for for things. This is where freshman camp will be. And yeah, great gym. All righty, now we are on to our F building and those would be our English social studies, foreign language and any CTE classes. This is what be where all of your English classes will be. Social studies, anything that isn't in that STEM related will most likely be in here. We have classes such as culinary in here. Here's an example of one of our foreign language classrooms. Beautiful, of course, we love when our teachers decorate it. So lovely. And then this is the upstairs. We have amazing signs to remind our pioneers that we are a family. Quick interruption, but uh, we're getting back to it here. Alrighty, and now we are showing you one of our social studies classes. So our social studies classes are very broad. We take a different subject every year in the social studies town. And now we are on to our student store. Student store is a place where you can go and get snacks, shirts, sweatshirts. They have it all there. It's a great place to check out. And now we're at our cafeteria. Um, this is a place where you can eat lunch, go where if it's raining, hang out with friends. Amazing food here. Lots of options. Um, it's just a great place to hang out, escape from the outdoors. If it's too hot or if it's too cold, which rarely happens, you'll never really find yourself going in there. If it's too cold, we live in Arizona. Um, but yeah, lots of tables. Great place to hang out with friends meet with teachers, um, tutoring, uh, cafeteria has it all. Alrighty, and here's the rest of where you can sit outside at lunch. This is our outdoor tables and our quad. This is one of the more popular areas for students to congregate either before school, during lunch, or after school. We have a, we have a beautiful campus, as you can see, and we have many tables where all, everybody sit. And this is our breezeway between the C and F buildings. This is the most popular place to transfer between classes. Now outside, um, to the left of the campus we have the stadium entrance now this is where you'll find our big amazing football stadium with our amazing pioneer football team we have lots of bleachers amazing times with friends to watch games and to root on the school this is our new athletics um, weight room um, it's brand new it looks beautiful lots of new equipment great new room to work out and get in shape and just practice and get ready for those games and here's the baseball field um, for our baseball games, baseball practices, big field off to the left of the campus, just near the football field. All righty, thank you so much for watching, and we are rise up, pioneers. Great video, great shots. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's a beautiful campus. We can't wait to see you all here. Now we're going to open it up. We have an amazing Q&A up for all those questions that you asked and any others that you may have. Um, once again, there's on that flyer that you have, there's a form that you can fill out and put any questions that you may have up for this Q&A. Um, we'll be, be answering any and all questions that you may have, and we're super excited. We're going to give it off to the panel back here. Um, we're going to start it off and let them introduce themselves. Uh, hello again, everybody. I'm Connor Gumanel, a junior here at Pinnacle High School. Hi, guys. This is Sage. I teach English. I'm also the advisor for Stugo, Mentors, and Crazy. Dr. Smith, Principal. Mr. Hurley, Athletic Director. James Marshall, Head Counselor. Heather Brelo, Assistant Principal of uh, Curriculum. All right, the first question is either for Ms. Brelo or Mr. Marshall. Can PE credits be completed in summer school this summer in order to choose different electives for ninth grade? Yes, it is the only class incoming freshmen can take in the summer. And it frees up room in their schedule for an additional elective. All right, another question for either one of you. Are there additional electives that are not offered on the card available to freshmen? 
Um, we encourage and want our incoming freshmen to either get their CTE or their fine arts credit out of the way. That is why we are limiting more of the electives for freshmen because we want that credit um, for them to complete at their freshman year. So then moving forward into your junior seat or a freshman or a sophomore, junior, senior year, you have a variety of other electives to take that are more advanced. All right, this next question is from Mr. Hurley. Where can I sign up for a sport? So on that flyer, it can be emailed. Go to go look at the uh, sports flyers. Go to the individual sport and contact that coach. Okay, just email that coach. Uh, they'll get you all kinds of information for upcoming um, off-season camps, um, summer camps that are going to be coming up, and ways to get involved there. Um, and then coming into in, in August, you're going to want to complete the um, registermyathlete.com. If you look on the athletics webpage via the um, school webpage, um, you'll, you'll find a link to that where you have to go through all the registration process and physical examination and concussion course that all athletes have to take. Um, if there's any questions on any of those documents, please feel free to reach out to the athletic department. And more importantly, if you don't hear back from an individual coach or an individual sport, please reach out to us as soon as you can. All right, another question for Ms. Grillo or Mr. Marshall. Is it too late to enroll at this point? And is there a nearby PVCC school bus option from Union Hills slash Cave Creek area that isn't our home school? Open enrollment is for freshmen, so it's not too late. You're going to have to go on to um, the PBUSD website to go ahead and enroll, open enroll. And in terms of open enrollment, if you are not living within our Pinnacle High School boundaries, any open enrollment, you have to provide your own transportation. There is no bus transportation for you. And, and just as a reminder too is if you go online and you're unable to complete the online uh, open enrollment forms contact the school directly and we'll walk you through the process this next question is for connor are there multiple lunch periods uh no there's only one one lunch period uh it's after your fourth grade class all right back to mr marshall am i guaranteed my chosen electives or is it possible that i will get my alternative we have you select alternates because let's say only five kids want drama. Therefore, that class will not make. So we will put you in your alternate class. More than likely, you will get the elected that you are choosing. Awesome. Another question adding on top of that electives. Uh, what if my daughter wants to take a language that is not provided at this school? I guess they're going to take it. <laughs> 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 All right, will freshmen be taking conceptual physics or has that been changed? They're still taking conceptual physics. Um, does drama count as a fine art slash CTE credit? It is a fine arts credit. The... It's pretty easy, Mr. Curley. You don't have to answer any questions. <laughs> you can answer this, this is pretty nice. <laughs> Guys, while they're looking, don't forget that flyer that went to your email. That's what we're talking about. It's the link there that you can ask us a question right now. You just thought of it. Stick it in that form. Can a student take sign language instead of Spanish or Mandarin? Yes, it is offered at the community college. It's got to be paid for. We don't pay for it. We'll go. The freshman elective course pre-registration form does not list French as an option for world languages. Is it not offered next year? French will not be offered next year, no. Does eighth grade Spanish count as first year language at Pinnacle? Yes, it does. Does conditioning for dance count as PE? Yes. How do you enroll in AP classes and where when can you start taking them? You start taking them your sophomore year. You're enrolled in them by your teacher recommending you for the AP classes. Is there an option to fulfill PE requirements outside of school hours if a student is in an extracurricular activity such as a dance competition? No, you have to take our PE classes, graduation. It's one of the reasons why they offer it uh, outside of uh, 
a normal school year. So say in the summertime, uh, as a freshman, you have the ability to take that uh, requirement uh, via summer school to eliminate it from your requirements during the school year. Is culinary, does the culinary count as a fine arts credit? No, it does not. It's a CTE or vocational credit. But it's an awesome class and you're going to want to take it. <laughs> Where can we find the bus route information? So on the PVUSD website under transportation, they will have all of the new bus routes uh, for next year uh, posted within, I think, about the first week of school. One of the things with transportation uh, is based on the number of kids and where they live that they're going to require to take the bus. They have to adjust the bus routes each year slightly. And so they don't have a, a predictive uh, set of sites yet until they find out who's going to be riding the buses. So you'll be able to get that information from the PBUSD transportation website uh, when we get closer to the start of the year. If I took Spanish 1 2 in middle school, would you recommend taking Spanish 3 4 as a freshman? That would be up to your middle school Spanish teacher. If they feel you're ready to move on to 3 4, they'll recommend it or they'll have you retake 1 2. Do you have to register your athlete for club activities? What if there is not a name by the club? Uh, I'm assuming that they might be talking about uh, lacrosse or hockey. Uh, both lacrosse and hockey are not recognized under the Arizona uh, Interscholastic Association, the AIA, as a school sport, but we do have those clubs on campus. We do have very large um, lacrosse teams and hockey teams, multiple levels. Uh, so that would be, they do not have to register with us. Uh, we can get you, if you contact the athletic department, we can get you in, in touch with those clubs and make sure that you get that information. If you took Algebra 1-2 in 8th grade, how will this affect your schedule from freshman year on? Well, it's, it's a good thing. <laughs> Depending upon your grade, you will either go on to Honors Geometry or Accelerated Algebra 1-2 to replace it. Based upon your grade and your teacher recommendation, middle school teacher. What? what? Just to follow up with that, what that means is, is that if you go into honors geometry, you'll be able to get to a point uh, academically with your math classes that are at the highest end of our math offering. So you'll be able to get into calculus, uh, AB, um, which is if you're interested in going to, um, say, an Ivy League school or one of the, the top tier schools, uh, getting to calculus on your schedule is a, is a pretty big must. Uh, in order to get or be considered for admissions. And so by taking algebra in middle school, going into geometry honors as a freshman, you'll be on track to be able to meet that requirement. What does CTE stand for? Career Technical Education. When can students start taking dual enrollment classes? Their junior year. Is there a place to put bikes and skateboards? There's a place to put bicycles. We don't currently have a place to put skateboards. However, if you go up to Mr. Dugan's office, he would love to house that skateboard for him. It's a safe environment, you won't lose it. What is the average course fee for the fine arts classes? That that depends on what the, um, whatever course, you're, the fine art course you're taking. And that is listed on the registration card, the course cost, so. You just need to look that over and see. It's just dependent on the specific course. Yeah, it varies between like fifteen dollars and I think thirty 50, or fifty. Maybe. Fifty dollars, yeah. yeah. Um, typically, those course fees go to handle things like clay if you're in uh, in ceramics um, or culinary. It ends up covering the course fees for uh, the food associated with culinary, and so it fluctuates and it's different by uh, the course. Uh, are the dates for freshman camp known, and will it be in person? <laughs> so we don't know. Yeah, we're not willing to give up the possibility of in person. We'd love that. We would love that as much as you guys would love that. So we are certainly doing everything in our power to plan for that and be hopeful for that. Um, that we will communicate that out. And either way, it will be amazing. It's it's usually about uh, the the four or five days prior to the start of school um, that you can anticipate it. Uh, but yes, we are we are moving forward that we're going to be in a situation where we can have on campus activities such as uh, freshman camp uh, and that we'll be back in person for the start of the school year. 
Connor, what are the school hours? Like what time does it start and what time do you get up? Uh, normal school day is 7.30 to 2.10. Is there enough time to eat lunch? Yeah, we have we have 30 minutes, but you tell her yeah. you have you have to eat it. I just walk time. around. And most teachers here are pretty lenient on allowing you to lunch on uh, snacks in class too, so you have plenty of time throughout the day to eat What? Depends on the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Disregard that. <laughs> what is the difference between fine art and CTE requirements? Any reason to take one over the other? Yes, there is. If you plan to go to an out-of-state university, they want a fine or performing arts. If you want to do one of the three in-state universities, then the CTE course will work. Will golf be offered as a sport in the fall? Yes, we will have both boys and girls golf in the fall. Do you guys have a dance program? We have, well, there is a dance class. Um, in, the, in the PE department, but we also have um, uh, in, in part of our spear line, we have the cheerleaders that do the stunting, but then we have the palmies who do uh, more of the dance routines. And we also have a jazz, um, a jazz dance team as part of that spear line. So there's three different levels of spear line. Competitive. Very, state, very state champs. competitive. State yeah. champs. Well, national champs national last year champs. In, in cheer. Do you have, do you offer swim? And if so, is there a pool on campus? <laughs> Um, yes, we do offer swim, boys and girls swim and dive. Um, it's a fall sport. Um, uh, but unfortunately, no. As, as many of the, as, when you come, as many of the uh, seniors that might want to tell you that there's a pool on top of the F building, um, don't fall for it. Okay? There's no, there's no pool on campus. <laughs> there's definitely a pool, Mr. Hurley. I'm a swimmer myself. <laughs> what are the individual sports? Uh, individual sports are um, bad, uh, in the fall, you have badminton, um, cross country, uh, swim and dive is considered an individual sport. Um, in the winter, you have uh, wrestling. Wrestling is considered an individual sport. Um, in the spring, you have track and field and tennis. Those are both con considered individual sports. There's still a team aspect to each one of those. There's a team, there's a team score in a lot of those, um, those sports but they're considered more individualistic than the regular team sports like volleyball, basketball, football, baseball, softball. And then wrestling is boys and girls. Yeah, yeah, we have we have an incredible uh, couple of girl wrestlers at this school. They're, they're, they're gonna be, we're hopeful we have a state champion girl wrestler this year. When and how will we know what the teacher recommendations are for our students? Talk to your middle school, current middle school teacher. They're due by what? What date are they due to us by? Uh, by this Friday. So by this Friday, your teachers will have made the recommendations, and you can request uh, information from your teachers directly at your middle school, and they'll be able to tell you which classes they recommended before. Is there more leniency on the grade requirements for honors classes based on the challenging COVID school year? So. What we've been trying to do is, is really support our students with additional resources, remediation, and additional support. So we've looked at our bell schedule as an opportunity to find time after the normal school day to support kids. Um, we've also looked at our pacing and made those adjustments uh, uh, accordingly. But I'm going to tell you that the rigor of the honors and the AP program at this school is extremely high, and it doesn't fluctuate very much. The support and remediation that we provide has definitely increased because of COVID. But AP and, and honors is, is our most rigorous program, and so it's still incredibly difficult. Is it possible to schedule an appointment with a counselor before picking, picking classes for freshman year? With your middle school counselor, yes. With your high school counselor, <laughs> you can give it a shot. Contact the Pinnacle Counseling Office. <laughs> uh, do you guys know the dates for summer school? Um, <laughs> it's it's normally right after um, the school year ends, the traditional school year ends. So that's May twentieth this year. So it most likely will start. Uh, I would say probably a week after that. Mm -hmm. So the, about around the first of June yeah. is usually, normally when it starts. It's usually the I, I've actually taught the last several years in, in summer school, and it's it's usually about the first week in June 
the first session goes about three weeks and then uh, the second session of summer school goes another three weeks so it ends up about the third week in july in july Ms. Brillo, what would you say is the hardest year for a student academically oh hands down i think it's their junior year um you've got all academic classes for the most part you might have one elective but your elective might be a, a spanish five six class so it really is a very challenging year on top of the fact that you are um, working on uh, preparing for your sat or act as well so it's definitely challenging we hope that your freshman year you kind of get used to things sophomore year is going to be a little bit more challenging and then you're really thrown into it your junior year but don't stress, that's a couple years away yet, and we have um, support systems for you as well. So if you can get through junior year, you've got it down, and you can. Connor, would you say that's pretty accurate as a junior yourself? Yes, I believe that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you're gonna find out you know, from a lot of schools outside of the state of Arizona, uh, institutions, universities, and colleges, is that they're looking for your uh, academic GPA. And that's usually your sophomore and junior year GPA when they're considering you for admissions into their school. And so, yeah, your sophomore year starts it off with your junior year for sure is, the, is going to be the most difficult year uh, that you'll have during the four years of, of high school. Is there a vegetarian lunch option? Um, I, think, I think there they, is. They have fruits and vegetables served with lunch. Yep. Um, I know they also serve protein with lunch. Uh, I think it's more like you just buy lunch and then you can pick and choose. You can not eat the protein and you have the vegetable and fruit type thing, if I'm not mistaken. I even think there's some gluten free options for kids that are, are allergic to gluten. Uh, how are students kept safe? Is there a security officer on campus? I walk around and just scare all the bad guys away. <laughs> um, yeah, we actually have a, a security staff or a campus supervisor staff of, of six people um, and then all of the administrators. And so one of the things that we have is that we control access to our school site throughout the day. Um, students wear their IDs, so the staff members. Um, we control the access, uh, ingress and egress to the school during the school day itself. Um, and then we uh, have people strategically placed throughout the school during every passing period and during class. So there'll always be someone in the halls of the C building, the F building, the D building, uh, E building, uh, providing that additional support and supervision. Uh, our campus is fully monitored. I don't know if you can tell, but there's actually cameras located all over campus and it's monitored uh, in the event of a situation uh, by our administrative team. How will it affect your schedule if we are taking regular science and math, but honors English. If you are in regular classes, could you advance into an honors? Yes, you can. And it won't, uh, can you repeat that question at the beginning? Will it affect your schedule? Will it affect your schedule if you're taking a regular science and math class, but honors English? No, because no matter what, you have the six classes within the day, whether it's regular or honors, you're just gonna be placed in one of them. So it would not affect your schedule in any way. I think that's one of the things that's great about kind of a high school um, and the high schools in PTSD is we want you to be successful um, in, in your academic pursuits. And so you don't have to take all honors uh, uh, classes. You can pick and choose which ones that you feel you have the greatest success on and the classes that you feel that you um, are more challenging for. You have the opportunity to take it at a college prep level as opposed to the honors level. So you can actually mix and match and it won't, it won't overall affect your experience. If we are in honors right now as an eighth grader, do we need a recommendation from our teachers to continue honors classes? Yes. How difficult is it for an athlete to take honors courses during their season? Um, we have uh, one of the things we're very proud of is the, is the academic success of all of our athletes. And we have every sport has multiple um, athletes that are in all honors classes, and AP classes. Um, it's, a, it's a matter of time management, it, and if you manage your time well, um, it's very doable. Connor, would you say you've been able to manage your time well? <laughs> uh, yeah, since freshman year, I've taken uh, honors classes. I play for Division One hockey here as well as an elite level of hockey outside of school. And the schedule with honors classes, with or without, um, with your practice schedule, is very um, attainable. 
Is your mom asking these questions right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. Oh. oh, Connor's mom. Oh, I thought, wow, there's one of those are soft. They're teeing up softballs for you, man. <laughs> All right. Can you request a teacher specifically for math? No. No, unfortunately, we we don't allow that. What is the earliest a student can arrive in the mornings? Is there a study area that my student can arrive at 7 a.m.? Yeah, at 7 a.m., uh, the campus is open. We have the ITC, which is our library, uh, bookstore, uh, finance office. And uh, as you saw in the uh, Virtual tour is a really, really great place to go ahead and work on a computer, print out things that you need. It's warm usually in the early morning during the winter time, and the air conditioning blows extremely cold in the in the summertime, uh, fall and spring. And so it's a great place to go, especially early in the morning when you want to get here and uh, have a, a quiet place to to study or to work on. <laughs> How will Pinnacle uh, work to reincorporate activities and events like band after COVID? So I, I, one of the things that we are constantly doing is, is that we're always in a state of readiness, meaning everything continues behind the scenes uh, with practices and virtual practices. Uh, we've been able to transition uh, from being uh, closed for, even for winter sports back into the season extremely quickly uh, because we don't stop those activities from happening in a virtual setting as well. So teams are still meeting, coaches are still coaching, uh, band is still uh, 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 online and, and doing some practicing. They have the class that's already set up. So their ability to transition is just a matter of being uh, allowed to meet in person and to go ahead and start uh, practicing outdoors. And so it happens very, very quickly. Band especially, I will tell you that, that uh, the, the kids in band are some of the most dialed kids on campus. Um, they respond and they react extremely well. They're well organized and disciplined. So for them to be able to make that transition back to in person and a performance, it happens very, very quickly uh, because they're constantly doing it throughout the year at home and on their own. Since French was previously offered for our students in middle school, uh, are there any other options for French that will be offered for our students at Penn? If a student took French 1-2 in middle school, we will offer 3-4 next year. And that would complete their two years of French. So don't stress about that. Yeah. It's it's only closed for anybody taking it as a new Correct. Uh, as a new language. How does Pinnacle help the students uh, prepare for college and apply for those colleges? We have a very wonderful college in career specialist, which is located in the ITC building. She continually sends out information. Counseling sends out college information starting in your junior year. Junior and senior year, we're big on getting you college information. This year, unfortunately, because of COVID and, and uh, restrictions on campus, so we didn't have a lot of the guest speakers, a lot of the colleges that would normally come to our school site, but that's one of the things that we continue to do and will continue to do in the future is to have multiple colleges come in, talk to kids, talk about recruitment um, and admissions, as well as a number of opportunities throughout the year where we meet, the counselors meet individually with students to plan their um, schedules out so that they can meet their particular desire as far as which school they wanna to go to. We also have Naviance. And Naviance is a software tool that kids can actually uh, put in their personal profiles, their information, all of their academic information, and it'll help them find colleges that fit or have a match for their particular desires and their interests, as well as their academic performance. And so there's lots and lots of tools and we have lots and lots of resources, starting from our college and career to our counseling office uh, to not. How do I get involved with theater in PTC? Uh, reach out to uh, Mrs. Carol Jackson, start taking drama. Um, I believe that there's a link for the core electives, uh, the electives in the flyer. And so you'll be able to go ahead and reach out and uh, apply and, and uh, excuse me, register for that particular class. And that particular class for uh, drama is the first step into the theater program. Um, and then when you get a chance to meet Miss, uh, we call her MCJ, uh, Mrs. Carol Jackson, who is phenomenal and fantastic and just amazing. Uh, you're going to get hooked and uh, you're going to be a drama for life. And so uh, it's just a matter of taking it as a class 
and then getting to know the teacher and reaching out to her and, and being part of the theater club. Miss Sage and Connor, how do I run for Stugo next year? Yeah, yeah. So a couple things. First of all, pay attention to the information we're sending your way because we will invite you. Uh, we will send you a video. We will invite you to a Google Classroom. As soon as you get into that Google Classroom, we will give you everything you need to sign up for Stugo and run for Stugo next year as a freshman. Um, the other thing that I would like to suggest to all of you right now is if you are on Instagram, follow our Stugo account. It's pinnacle.stugo kids. Yes, is that what it is? Pinnacle.stugo. We will also post it there when we are ready to start elections for next year. So you'll get all the information also on theater clubs, activities. Um, and the kiddos, I think, had a challenge for you. So if you are an eighth grader and you follow our Instagram account, by midnight tonight, we are doing a drawing and one of you gets this hoodie. So go do that. Pinnacle.stugo. What? What is that again? I want one of those. Here, you can't have one. You're not an eighth grader. Oh. Have you submit recommendations for honors classes during registration? How do you submit? Talk to your middle school teacher. That's how you are getting to the honors classes. They recommend you. So your teachers at at um, Explore or okay. Mountain Trails. Uh, they already their teachers are already aware of this process. They already know what the deadline is. They already have the forms and the information. So they'll be able to go ahead and make those recommendations on your behalf. Can you please clarify for a student who has taken French 1-2 in middle school and is being recommended for honors French 3-4, will that course be offered for them freshman year? Yes, it will be offered for them for, uh, next year. If you are haven't taken French and you want to take French entering your freshman year, that's when it's not offered. But if you are currently in French 1 2 and you're moving on to French 3 4 or honors French 3 4, you will have that class that will be offered to you. If you receive it, an A in Spanish 1 2 in junior high, does it count as an A on your high school transcript? No, it does not. The foreign language classes does not transfer. They count for college as your first year of the language completed. But it is not entered on the high school transcript. Algebra one two is the only class that actually transfers up to your uh, high transcript, transcript. Your high school transcript. If you, if, if you, if the student does well enough and wants it on the online. high school transcript, you have up until the spring of the freshman year to say yes i want that algebra one two grade on my high on the student's high school transcript or you don't have to have it on the high school transcript but you have to make that decision by the spring semester of their freshman year and then going back to talk about the spanish what it although it doesn't necessarily apply to your transcript what it does is it pushes you into spanish three four and by completing spanish three four you've actually met your two-year high school requirement uh, for a foreign language and only one year uh, of high school, which is really great. That way you can take some other electives um, throughout your career without having to take additional foreign language if that's not what you want to do. In reference to the elective choice card, what is what are individual sports like for PE? Individual PE classes? Is that or individual? No, it's men's individual sports or women's individual sports. Um, so the, the men's individual sports uh, in the fall again are um cross country um uh let's see we got cross country swim swim and dive is considered that golf is also considered an individual sport uh, badminton is a is a female individual sport in the fall in the winter the only individual sport there is in the winter is wrestling that's both that's both boys and girls um we have a big the ai now has a separate girls wrestling state tournament they have the, they have a completely separate wrestling state tournament uh, for girls. In the spring, we have uh, boys and girls tennis. Those are individual sports, uh, and track and field is considered the boys and girls individual sports as well. I think we were talking about individual sports as far as like racket sports or okay, like concepts. Like the, yeah, what would you be doing in individual? So they have they have racket sports. Um, a couple of our we also have um, not for freshmen. But after you've completed your freshman PE requirements, your sophomore, junior, and senior year, you can also get into um, advanced.
advanced PE, uh, advanced PE football class, advanced PE for soccer, and advanced PE for basketball. Um, and then there's also weightlifting classes for PE. Uh, there's the dance class also um, offered through the physical education department, uh, racket sports, I'm trying to think. Well, I think, I think, and maybe this is, maybe this is, I think I know what they're asking. So if I'm in racket sports as a freshman, I'm learning about racket sports. Right. I'm playing tennis. I'm learning about badminton and stuff like that. That's okay. what the elective of racket sports is if you take that as a half of the PE credit. The other one is individual sports. So the individual sports then would be um, learning about baseball or learning about basketball or learning those different things. Um, uh, football, they I'm sure, things like that. The actual individual sports. Okay. So, yeah. Can you be kicked off of a school team due to grades? What is the minimum grade to continue? Uh, so the, ac the academic eligibility for athletics is uh, that you cannot have any F's. So it goes back to your previous quarter or previous uh, semester grade. So for incoming freshmen next year, um, if they take a fall sport, we will be going back and looking at their last quarter grades. So if they have any F's um, in that last quarter grade, then they're academic, academically ineligible for three weeks. They don't get kicked off the team. They, be, they, they can still practice with the team. They just aren't eligible for competition for three weeks. At that three week period, we check their current classes. If they're passing all their current classes, then they're reinstated. If they're not passing their current classes, then they're ineligible for another three week period. And we do it, we do those grade checks every three weeks. Does the school give you a laptop or should you bring a personal one? So we do provide laptops, uh, uh, Chromebooks to our incoming freshmen. We will next year, uh, but you do have the option to bring your own. Uh, there are some security issues for test taking and those sort of things that are software driven. Um, and so we do recommend that you check out the Chromebook, that you have it available and that you utilize it as much as possible. But if you do want to utilize your personal uh, laptop for day to day stuff, accessing Google Classroom, that kind of stuff, you'll be able to do that on campus. What is Gen? Yes. It is a computer, a small computer programming class. You are learning computer programming on campus. If a teacher needs any type of technical support, the GNS yes students, after they get the training, they go in and help the teacher with whatever technical problems they're having in their classroom. Yeah, it's kind of like the genius bar at Apple. Uh, they learn how to problem solve and, and uh, fix all of the IT issues that we're having in our school site. We are in NJHS in eighth grade. How do we join NHS in high school? NHS is not, you cannot join until you are a junior. So therefore, um, you need to keep up the grades from your freshman and sophomore year. You need to have, um, obviously, the grade, grade point needed. Um, it would help if you have um, if you participate in extracurricular things, such as a club like Key Club or mentors, or uh, well, you can't be mentors, but um, Key Club would be a good example, or a sport, or get involved in the community, and also uh, clearly uh, be a responsible citizen on campus, if you know what I mean. Um, so don't get yourself into trouble. <laughs> um, and then there's a process, a application process when you hit the end of your sophomore year to go into junior year for NHS. Yeah, you want to be an active member of our school yes. body. You want to volunteer. Uh, they're going to ask you uh, in the application process academic information, but they're also going to ask personal information so that you have the character it takes to be part of National Honor Society. All right, we only have time for a couple more questions. So would my child be able to decline a teacher's recommendation for AP or honors classes before or after enrollment? Yes, they can. They just have to notify the medical counselor. For students who compete in sports not offered at Pinnacle, for example, competitive gymnastics, is it possible to apply their sport involvement as a PE credit? No, not at this not time. time. It is something that we've talked about um, in, in a larger context, but we have not, they've not made a decision yet from the district office. Connor, what was the <laughs> pinnacle Sugo Instagram name again? 
identical dots do go? It, I was just going to say before, before they go back on um, their presentation, it is really, really important. And this is, to me, this is what's most important as you guys coming in as freshmen that you understand. There's a lot to take when you first walk onto this campus. It's a lot of newness. It's big, all of these different things. Make it smaller by getting involved. And we do have what we consider a club rush that happens uh, the first few weeks of school. And what that is at lunchtime, and the nice thing about having one lunch is that clubs meet during that time. So it's not like you have to meet after school. Clubs meet during your lunch period. Whatever club you signed up at have different times that they can meet. But I want you to go and peruse that club rush. They're, they sit out there in the quad and all these different clubs and organizations are around there and you get to talk to people in those clubs and you get to find out what they are. We have over a hundred clubs on campus. If you have interest, I guarantee you we have a club on campus that matches that interest. And if we don't, you have a way of going about it that Ms. Sage can talk about to, and Ms. Cote, who's the AP over activities, to form a club and, and have that on campus. Get involved. It's going to make the campus smaller. You're going to enjoy your time a lot more. And it's going to be someplace that you really call home. But you've got to do that starting at your freshman level. And I promise you, I promise you that it's going to be the, one of the best things that you do. Thank you for the amazing Q&A. Um, like Ms. Brewer was saying there at the end, it's, it's really a great idea to get involved in joining clubs. Not only that, but just meeting new people, maybe sitting with a new group at lunch. And I know it seems intimidating. There's so many people. I felt the same way, but I can tell you um, as a fact that anybody here, no matter the grade level, um, they'd be happy to talk to you, happy to show you where you need to go if you're lost, um, especially our amazing admin. Any question you have, you can always find them. They're always walking around at lunch, passing periods. You can always visit the A building. Um, Fortunately, we won't be here to see you guys next year, but there'll be people just like us that can't yes. wait to that can't wait to meet you, can't wait to see you. Um, we're super excited to have you here on campus. Um, it was a bum we're super bummed out we couldn't get to see you face to face, but uh, hopefully we can sometime soon. Again, if you have any questions, you can uh, contact our admin. You can look on that flyer or you can look on our website. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for joining time. us tonight. Have a good rest have of your night. Have a great night. night. Enjoy the rain. See you soon. Bye.